Russia began its offensive on the Kharkiv region much earlier than planned. As the Telegraph writes, due to the significantly premature offensive of the occupiers on the Kharkiv region, other units that were supposed to simultaneously advance in the Donbass were not properly prepared. The Russians launched their offensive on Kharkov about a month before they were scheduled to, said Michael Kaufman, a senior fellow at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. The idea of the early start was to catch the Ukrainians off guard, but it also caught the Russians off guard. The 4th Army Corps, assigned to the Donbass operation, had not yet completed training and was about a month behind before the assaults there really began. When the Kharkiv operation began to fail, the Russian High Command withdrew troops from Donbass to send them north. Perhaps this delay saved the Ukrainians from collapse. The publication writes, Russia launched its offensive at the front when Ukraine was in a vulnerable state. The most pessimistic forecasts for this summer were based on Ukraine's critical shortage of men, ammunition and prepared defensive positions. Each of these problems has begun to be addressed, albeit belatedly. As The Telegraph writes, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky signed a law on mobilization in April. The figures are classified, but sources familiar with the matter said that several times more troops were assembled in a month than before. In the coming months, they will begin to arrive at the front en masse, the publication writes. Also in April, the US Congress approved a military aid package shortly before the attack on Kharkov. The package has already reduced, but not eliminated, Russia's advantage in ammunition. The F-16 fighters are expected to arrive this summer. All this means that Russia's dominance on the battlefield is likely to be destroyed in the winter, and Moscow has its own headaches. Russia is not running out of armored vehicles, but its reserves are dwindling, the publication notes. Russia has also recently increased its salary offer for volunteers, indicating that it is having trouble recruiting. It may have to slow down its operations at some point. Major of Ukrainian army Dmitry Kozubenko said that the Russians are bringing up reserves in all directions of the Eastern Front, but the situation remains difficult in the Chasovyar area and the Bakhmut defense area. The enemy is constantly bringing up reserves in all directions. Now the Russians are massively storming all positions of the defense forces along the entire line of combat contact, including Chasovyar. The enemy is trying to enter the city itself. In the Canal micro district, the enemy was successful only because he wiped it off the face of the earth. Now the Russians have not made any significant advances, but they are still continuing their attempts, the soldier said on the air of Espresso TV. According to the officer, the enemy has a significant advantage in manpower. The Russians have a large amount of assault, meat and air support and this helps them. For more than six months, the occupiers have been actively using fabs and cabs which wipe out everything in their path after which the infantry comes. But fortunately, their efforts do not bring results. Because for a successful war, you need to know what you are fighting for. And the Russians are fighting only for money and the ambitions of their king. Gozubenko added, advancing west from Abdiivka, Russian occupiers threaten the T0504 highway, which is called the Road of Life. This is currently the main supply route for the Ukrainian Armed Forces Group in the Chasovyar area, build rights. At the same time, the Russians are expanding their foothold in the Ocheretino area, capturing nearby settlements in order to reach the operational level. According to the publication's expert on open data analysis, Julian Robka, these two maneuvers are connected to each other. At the same time, the Russians are expanding their foothold in the Ocheretino area, capturing nearby settlements in order to reach the operational level. According to the publication's expert on open data analysis, Julian Robka, these two maneuvers are connected to each other. He noted that the occupiers have about six kilometers left to reach the T0504 highway through the village of Vozdvizenka. But the Ukrainian armed forces have already built a strong defense there and are successfully holding back Russian troops in this small area. 